Look, I can't give you one single favourite. I just think that the whole trip through Wakato has been um, totally enjoyable, the whole thing. Look, what I like about the, 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 the produce in this region is, um, you know, look at that. You know, it, it is different. And I like, you know, there's certainly um, chefs in New Zealand and chefs in Australia are doing a lot of the same. But I like the fact that there's a little twist and, and being able to use things like mouldy potatoes and mouldy spinach and, uh, you know, and the silverback eels, which we don't get, you know, um, in Australia. I, th I think that um, certainly New Zealand cuisine has a sameness or that we all enjoy, but it also has its distinct differences, which make, you know, cooking and, um, you know, chefing in, in this part of the world interesting and exciting. going to be down this way you've got to eat at Hoo Hoo's because you know you come to it's a little town here um, but yet the food here is 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 world class as Katy Perry said whilst she was eating here she said this place is a six star now Michelin stars only go up to five but it's great to be able to come to this region and actually eat at that level um, what I enjoy most about food is the well, it's the creative aspect of it. But for me, my whole career's been about storytelling, you know, whether I'm dancing or acting or choreographing um, or cooking. To me, it's about telling a story. So um, I like in my food to be creative, but in a way it tells a story of who I am and what's going on. And, and through Mercurio's menu and coming to New Zealand, um, I can tell the story of, you know, my adventure, but also a bit of the story of the character of this place.